Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to submit a lab. So you're in Canvas, you're going to go to Modules, and you're going to scroll to your lab. So our first lab is on Instructional Day 4, so that'd be Quarter 1, Agenda Day 4. And you'll notice the code there, Q1L1, that is Quarter 1, Lab 1, Measurements. You're going to click on your lab measurement file. Now when you go to these labs, you're going to notice a couple things. Um, you're always going to see this um, picture of a micrometer that says physics lab. That's a hot link to your actual lab sheet that tells you what you need to do. We're going to tell you what our expectations are. And as a footnote, you're going to be taking a picture of your lab book. If you're on an iPhone, um, Apple only uses um, a very specific HEIC file that will only work on an ISO device. Um, so you're going to need to put it in a JPEG. It's very, very, very simple to do. Here are your instructions. Um, it's easy to move it back and forth if you're in love with the HEIC and you don't want JPEG, but you must submit a JPEG. So if for our iPhone folks out there, um, when you go to take a picture, you need to make sure it's in a JPEG. So if you look below this, there's no dialog box. So let's scroll back to the top. <clears throat> right now it says resubmit assignment. That's because I've already submitted this once in a couple trial runs. So if you've not submitted, it will say submit assignment. If you've already submitted and maybe you've made some corrections and you want to resubmit that assignment, you're going to click the resubmit button. So that's going to open this dialog box here at the bottom. So you, their first choice is file upload, and you can see that tab. You will not use file upload. Let me repeat that. You will not use file upload. Um, there are one or two rare circumstances where we might use file upload, but for the most part, we want you going through your Google Drive. Now you'll notice there's two. So the first Google Drive is a general public um, Google Drive. This would be like your private Google Drive. Um, Denton's not going to let you link to that. Um, they're very concerned about your safety and security, so they want you going specifically through your school Gmail account. So that's what that LTI 1.3 is, and this is where you're going to go. This third tab is where you're going to go to upload your material. Um, if you've got an Office 365, um, that's there as well, but this is where you're going to live is the Google Drive LTI 1.3. So you'll notice that my school G Drive or school G, G, Gmail account is already um, linked to this. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit select file and it's going to take you to a second screen. Now what you'll notice is typical with any Google suite, you're always going to have your recent files, whatever the latest thing you've opened was. You've got your drive. This is where you're probably going to file everything if you're being organized. If you're doing this on your iPhone or on your cell phone or any device that you actually took the picture with, this is where you could upload directly from that device, okay? But, and shared drive is something that, that you don't need to be concerned with. As uh, staff, we've got shared drives, but um, you're not gonna need that. So you're either gonna live and upload if you're uploading directly from your device, or if you've got it saved to your Gmail account, um, then that's where you're gonna go. So um, I'm gonna go to images just simply because I know <clears throat> that I've got a JPEG already loaded there. And let's see if it pulls up here. Computer's being slow. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice here I've got a picture of a ramp. Um, it's in JPEG format, so I simply select that and then I'm gonna hit add. It's gonna say, do you wanna attach this file? Yes, sir, I sure do. So it's gonna say attaching. So you'll notice where it says file, it says ramp.jpg. If I wanted to change that, I could click that button and go back and select something else. And then if you wanna make a comment or two, you could, and then you're simply gonna click the submit button. So it says Canvas is processing. It says you can navigate away from this page, okay. And so it has been submitted. And you will go magically from a submit assignment button to what you see I have here now, which is resubmit assignment. So that's a walkthrough on how to submit labs.